Hello everyone, welcome back to our first grade class. Today we're going to be learning how to plug in your VR to your PC. <laughs> nah, but it's a little bit more complicated than that. I know for some people, they're, this is their first time doing it, so I know they're probably confused on how to do the whole concept. I'm mostly just making this video just because people in my Discord server, they ask about this sometimes. So I'm assuming some other people on YouTube probably need help with it but I'm just gonna show exactly how to do it. But the requirements that you have to have is a VR game, obviously, download it on your computer, and then you're gonna have to have the Oculus app, but the Oculus app has to be on your PC. And then you have to have a cable or a fast internet connection that connects to your computer. Now with the fast internet connection, you can either use virtual desktop or you can use AirLink, which is already built into the headset. And I think it's built into the Oculus app. Now I'm gonna link the Oculus PC app in the description. So all you have to do is click on it and it should open to this page. Just scroll down until you see download software. After you download the software, just put it into whatever file you want, but just make sure you know where that file is. But after you see it, um, if it doesn't have this little like shield icon right here, just right click it and then click run as administrator. If it does, just double click it. And then it should pop up a screen, just click yes. Now, obviously I already have the Oculus app, so steps should be pretty straightforward. Just click install and then it will tell you exactly what to do. You don't have to download games from the Oculus app. You don't have to, you can use Steam, which is what I'm going to do today. And just because it's a little bit more complicated. I think there's like one step that you need to do before it actually works on your computer, the VR. Download Steam. And I forgot to mention, you have to have a decent computer. If you have a crappy Chrome computer, it's not going to work. VR is not, just not going to work on it. But once you're in this Oculus app, just click settings, go to general, and then click unknown sources and make this sure this is on. I think the only reason why I need this on is for like Roblox. <laughs> That's literally the only one I know for sure. But go to the devices and this shouldn't be here. Let me just remove it just for the video. But it should look like this. Just click add headset. Click the headset that you want to pair and obviously mine's quest 2 and then here's air link and here's link just whatever method that you want to do uh, it should be pretty straightforward it should show you all the steps click link cable after you get to this page just plug in your headset now if it shows this little exclamation mark right here it says you want to use a usb 3 uh, connection you don't really have to uh, so this is fine just click continue and then it says check your cable connection, just click continue. Now you might have to allow your computer access on the headset, but mine hasn't done that recently at all. So you might not have to, but now your headset should look like this. And now I'm gonna show you in the VR how to actually click and launch your computer. Once your headset is on, all you have to do is click the quick settings button on the bottom left. It should have the Wi-Fi icon on there. And then you click quest link. After you click quest link, it should show up Rift or the PC name. Just click on it and click launch. But if you want to do air link, go to the top right and you should see a button that's toggled off. Just click on it and then it should show your PC name again, but different. Just click on it and click pair. But if you want to do link like I am, just toggle it back off and then wait for your Rift to pop back up and then click launch. Now it should look like this the first time you use it. But all you have to do is click desktop and then click your monitors and you can drag it hitting the middle finger trigger. And then if you want to play a game, you can go to the library in the Oculus app or like I am, I'm going to Steam and then I just click the library and then I'm playing Gorilla Tag, but you can play any other VR game I just click play and then click play again. And now it showed an option where you can play Oculus or Steam VR. It doesn't matter which one you pick. It just means like through the Oculus app or through the Steam app. And then now it should look like this. This is the Steam like home section. Um, it's just loading up the game right now. And then just click the pause button on your left controller and this will pop up. And then if you want to change the settings inside of it, just click the bottom right button. And you can see the audio versions and everything. But yeah, that's basically it. Now you have everything running. Okay, so that's the end of this video. If you have any more issues, just go to my Discord. The link is in the description. I hope this video helped y'all. All right, bye-bye.